The fastest way to ruin your engine by far is hydrolocking it, but what does that really mean? It literally means water seizing your engine. This happens because water is an incompressible fluid, and sure, you could click off here since that's the answer, but if you want the details, here's the easiest explanation you'll ever hear, and stick around, I'll show you how to avoid hydrolock at the end. When the piston goes off of the cylinder while the valves are shut, it compresses air and fuel until they ignite on their own like in a diesel or until the spark plug fires in a gasoline motor. Now imagine pushing your hand into a pillow. It compresses, it gives. This is what happens if the piston goes up in the cylinder to compress the air-fuel mixture, the pillow in this analogy. But if that pillow was actually a rock and you tried to fluff it, something would break. That's precisely what happens with hydrolock. Water may technically compress a tiny bit, but in engine terms, it's effectively incompressible. So when water enters the combustion chamber and the piston comes up, all that kinetic energy comes to a dead stop and something has to give. So it's usually your engine. Bent rods, cracked pistons, even blocks split wide open. And this doesn't happen in hours or days. Hydrolock kills in milliseconds. One sip of water through the intake and your engine goes from running perfectly to scrap metal, and even if the car still runs, the rods might already be bent, compression goes uneven, wear piles up, and the same funeral comes later. That's why hydrolock isn't just bad for your motor, it isn't just expensive, it's the quickest, most violent way to kill an engine. Hydrolock equals death, and the only cure is a new motor. So for all the people that don't understand engines and just need a straightforward way to understand how to drive during a flood, here's how you can avoid it. If you're driving in floods, go slow. You don't want water rushing up into the intake. A simple way to gauge if it's safe is, your air intake is usually about the same height as your car's front emblem. If the water's higher than that, don't risk it. Off-road vehicles use snorkels for a reason. They raise the air intake out of danger. You can improvise the same concept if needed. And if you're purposely injecting water, like with WMI, water methanol injection, always test your system for leaks, since one failure equals the same results. So protect your engine, don't drive like an idiot during floods, and of course, subscribe for more breakdowns like this one, drop a like, and comment any questions below, especially if you have a crazy hydrolock story. Thanks for watching.